Today, I will explain the concept of risk in ISO 14971 using the example of spilling hot water from an electric kettle. This diagram shows the flow from the top, starting with the hazard, which is the potential source of harm, then a sequence of events occurs, leading to a hazardous situation, and finally resulting in harm. In this example, the hazard is the hot water in the kettle, that is, thermal energy. The sequence of events could be that the power cord gets pulled, the lid opens and hot water spills out. This situation represents a hazardous state. However, a hazardous situation alone does not yet mean harm. Harm occurs when someone touches the spilled hot water and suffers a burn. We consider two probabilities. P1, the probability that the sequence of events will occur and lead to a hazardous situation, and P2, the probability that this hazardous situation will actually result in harm. The overall probability of harm is evaluated by considering both P1 and P2. At the same time, we also evaluate the severity of the potential harm. ISO 149 7 1 defines risk as the combination of the probability of occurrence of harm and the severity of that harm. So, in our kettle example, the hot water's thermal energy is the hazard, the cord being pulled and the lid opening, causing water to spill, is the hazardous situation. Touching the spilled hot water and getting burned is the harm. Risk, therefore, is assessed by evaluating both the probability of harm and the severity of the harm. That is the way ISO 14971 frames the concept of risk. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.